Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, first and foremost, I advise myself and you that we should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that which will bring success to our individualistic lifestyle. It will bring success to also our communities. So with the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is that which will soften our hearts and it will make us uh, the good and best lovers of Ahlul Bayt. It will soften our hearts for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he has found us enemies and he united our hearts and made us brothers. So our hearts will become one with the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. will be successful, a successful community and in the institution of brotherhood will become a success in our communities inshallah. So I urge Allah, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show mercy upon us, inshallah. Now, inshallah, in my second khutbah, I would like to continue with the topic of brotherhood. Or oh, with this topic of brotherhood, Allah, there's a hadith that says, the best of you, the best of your brothers, is the one who rushes you towards good and pulls you towards it and enjoins you to righteousness and assists you in it. And there is also an hadith that says the best brotherhood is not the brotherhood of this materialistic life or that advances or that you know you are able to help me eat. We are in the same tenders. We are we we are living in the same uh, suburbs. We live in the you know. It's not about that. It is way beyond it. It's about inviting each other to watch righteousness. Because yes, we can have this brotherhood. There is there are brotherhood that are very successful, but you would see or test that brotherhood once one of them is no longer living like the other. And on top of this one now, is turning his heels against this brother. We used to live in a very affluent life. Oh, we used to live in a certain area. We used to live like this. And now I'm no longer having this. Now you are abandoning me. So that is the type of brotherhood we see prevailing in our society. Because I don't blame that type of brotherhood is because the community that we live in, the government that we live in, the ideology that our government is, is, is advocating, is a, is a, is a, it's a materialistic uh, point of view. Uh, advance, it, it advances the materialistic types of lifestyle. So therefore, the people who subscribe to this ideology will, will follow suit. So their brotherhood or their connection will be only based on material acquisition. I'm your brother because I can be able to get my millions. I'm your brother because I can get a certain lifestyle. That type of brotherhood is the one that we see in our communities. But the one that Islam advances is the one about righteousness. But our soul will have our soul soul. Calling towards good and calling towards patience. That is the type of brotherhood Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advocates. That is the type of brotherhood that we should always maintain. If I see my brother is no longer coming to church, he's no longer coming to the jama, I should call him. Come, brother. Come, let us pray. Whenever it's Friday, we should collect one another wherever in our, in our uh, little communities that we come from. Brother, it's Juma. How are you going? Can we go together? That is the most basic uh, 
level of advancing towards good or advising your brother or calling your brother towards good. Whenever you want to read or you want to start a, 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 a program of reading, you call your congregate, you call the congregate, you call your brother. Whenever there's something that is happening in the Jama, you call your brother. Whenever you want to start a, a, a program of reading Quran, you call your brother. By doing so, it is also making our hearts to become joined. It joins our heart. And what it joins our heart for the good. And then it cannot die. Whenever that brother falls, that brother is no longer coming to, to, to the Jama, you will go and pick him up. Because he's your brother. So this is the type of the brotherhood that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always emphasizes. So therefore, there's a lot of work to be done when it comes to establishing this institution of brotherhood, Islamic brotherhood. There's a lot to be done. In your communities, start having like uh, small jamaats or small congregations where you meet and talk about Islam. Maybe weekends, maybe in Thursdays, maybe Tuesdays. Meet, advise one another about Islam. So inshallah, with that inshallah, I would like to conclude it here inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon us inshallah. For the brotherhood is the shield that will protect the arrival of Imam Zaman, inshallah. That will protect Imam Zaman, inshallah. That will uh, uh, hasten, hasten the, the reappearance of Imam Zaman, inshallah. Because once we are united, then Imam Zaman will come and he will have his good soldiers protecting him, inshallah. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon us, inshallah. Amen. May he grant us whatever that we need. May he unite our hearts, inshallah. May he make this uh, jama'ah to become a strong jama'ah.